Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products and focus. And what a roller coaster we had yesterday. Most global equity markets were massively on the back foot as crude oil sold off very aggressively and uh, actually briefly went below $27, which was an incredible move, almost about a 6% slump on the day. And that had big ramifications on uh, most European, US, and Asian markets as well. The Japan 225 was down way over 5%. The UK 100 was down about 4% at one point, uh, just as the um, US markets took a massive tumble. One point, the Dow was actually down 500 points before staging a late in the day recovery, with the NASDAQ actually almost finishing in positive ter territory. It almost flirted with positive territory towards the end of the close. So today has actually brought with it a, a kind of a resumption of that slide so we had our, our initial move back to the uh, to the to the upside and now things are just beginning to slowly drift back down again as you'll see by the charts when we look at the technical analysis part of this video now crude oil i think is almost below 27 dollars again first thing this morning which isn't so good uh, and most other markets while they are away from their lows that they plumbed uh, yesterday morning, uh, they're not that far away from there. And in fact, some quite ugly candlestick formations already. Um, Japan 225 down almost a thousand points from its intraday high so far today. So that in itself is, uh, is about a five or six percent move uh, already. So it's, um, it's been a very interesting start to the day. Uh, there is a lot of fear and negative sentiment out there. And I guess the question that everybody's asking is, is the bull market rally completely over now? And a number of markets have entered firmly into that uh, official correction period. You've got Japan, you've got the Hang Seng, and you had uh, the UK 100 yesterday. Now, it didn't close below that 20% drop from, it, from its recent high. But most markets are entering into a correction phase, apart from the US, 12% down from its high, still resilient. The questions obviously still remain because growth, growth is there. So the sell-off in the markets does seem to be slightly overdone. Everybody's looking at crude oil and basically holding their hands up going, well, we don't know where this is going to stop and the impact it's going to have as uh, some big energy companies begin to feel that pinch, you're going to have redundancy, sell-offs, liquidations, etc. And that's the thing. People are thinking about, not today, what's, what's it going to be like tomorrow? And that's a major thing for, the, uh, for traders to get through their heads so far today. So there is a lot of fear, but there is still growth at the US. There still is growth in Europe. And as we discussed yesterday, there's lots of things that China can still do that they haven't done yet. So um, perhaps there, there is an element that this is slightly overdone at the moment, but nobody wants to catch a falling knife. So let's uh, go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective and see where some of those support levels could potentially be. So as ever, let's start off with the US 30. So uh, you can see the extent of the move that we actually had there yesterday, way off the session lows. Now, the US 30 had rallied already in the session as we pushed back down. We are off today's session lows. 72% of CMC markets clients are currently short. The technicals are obviously oversold. So um, 15,900 is a potential support. Uh, we are a good bit away from 15,315, though you could be looking at the tip of this candle as the next potential support. Jumping on to the UK 100, you can just see how it beautifully bounced off that 55,600 uh, level uh, before reversing back up as commodities had a late, late in day rally. Um, you can see exactly where we are again. The support level is working very, very well on the UK 100. 57.69 is potential resistance. 5,600 is potential support. And 90% of CMC market clients are long, obviously hoping for a rebound. Jumping on to Japan, 225, really ugly. And when we talk about a thousand point move, that's from here down to here. Uh, and that is a, it's a significant um, move. What's really interesting is we actually went lower than we were yesterday at one point before reversing back up. Very, very volatile, um, Japan 225. It's a, it's a tough one to trade at the moment. 70% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long on Japan. They're obviously hoping for a turnaround. You can see we're a long way away from the next potential support level. So as long as 16,440 is, uh, we're below this, that's the resistance level. So that negative pressure will continue. And of course, you've got the double whammy because everybody's buying the Japanese yen as a safe haven. Now, again, we're far away from 116. Again, a beautiful bounce off that level. Um, you know, if we go all the way back to here, you can see where that level was. Bounced off it yesterday before moving back up. 58% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long, uh, and we are pretty much at the cusp of 116.70 as a potential short-term support level. But if the negativity in markets continues, the yen will be well bid. 
West Texas crude. Per West Texas, again, bouncing off uh, around about $27 before it managed a very slight bounce. This morning, it was in green. It's been pushed back into red. $27 is, <laughs> we're pretty much at that right now. So that gives you an idea of what to expect. 62% of CNC Marks clients are short. If 27 is broken, 25 is next. If 25 is broken, 23 and a half is what you'll have to look forward to. Looking, uh, potentially look forward to, uh, looking at gold, uh, gold's actually been uh, quite an interesting one. Had a decent rally yesterday, sell off towards the end, stopping shy of 1,100. We're just taking our head above there right now. You'd be looking at the tips of these candles as the next short term potential resistance. 68% of CMC market clients are currently long. So, Euro dollar, you have Mario Draghi's press conference today. And so, the ECB is not going to be raising rates, incidentally. They might be talking about cutting rates, perhaps more uh, likely. Um, so, the rate decision is at 12.45 UK time, followed by a statement by uh, Mario Draghi at 1.30, uh, 1 sorry. 130. Um, you can see by the tips of these candles that it's failing to break through. This is we're still in this descending triangle formation until we get a break and a close through that um, sloping trend line. 67% of CMC Marks clients are currently long. Uh, and we'll have to wait to see what Mario Draghi has to say. Um, but it's uh, the fundamental factor will definitely have an impact on this. And let's finish up with GBP USD. Poor old cable just isn't getting much love. We're below one spot 42. Um, the pound has not been getting a lot of uh, a lot of love because uh, interest rates are a bit of a distant memory at the moment in the UK. Um, some of the figures, economic growth figures, are okay. Uh, there's certainly nothing to write home about. One spot thirty five ten is the next potential support level, and uh, if we get a close below one spot forty two, that will be one of the lowest closes in like decades on cable. Uh, it's a, not a very good time to be going on holiday to the US, incidentally. 88% of CMC Marcus clients are short, and they must be loving this sell-off all the way down. So economic uh, data-wise, I have a quick look at Market Pulse. Um, you can see there, uh, I don't have my European equity, my uh, Eurozone uh, products turned on. Where is the Eurozone? There we go. And then done. Uh, and you, you can see that that interest rate decision there is at 12.45. Myro Draghi's uh, press statement at 1.30 UK time. You've got unemployment claims, CPI, weekly petroleum sales. And then Friday, you've got uh, German and European uh, PMI figures to look forward to. And total existing home sales to finish up the session. So guys, that gives you an idea of what's happening in the markets right now. Uh, and from a technical perspective, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. And best of luck with your trading. Thank you very much and goodbye.